It is not that I am mad, it is only that my head is different from yours. To the question what wine he found pleasant to drink, he replied, that for which other people pay. The noblest people are those despising wealth, learning, pleasure and life, esteeming above them poverty, ignorance, hardship and death. Being asked where in Greece he saw good men, he replied, good men nowhere, but good boys at Sparta. Plato had defined man as an animal, biped and featherless, and was applauded. Diogenes plucked a fowl and brought it into the lecture room with the words, Behold Plato's man. No man is hurt but by himself. When someone reminded him that the people of Sinope had sentenced him to exile, he said, and I sentenced them to stay at home. Poverty is a virtue which one can teach oneself. He once begged alms of a statue, and, when asked why he did so, replied, to get practice in being refused. One day, observing a child drinking out of his hands, he cast away the cup from his wallet with the words, a child has beaten me in plainness of living. He lit a lamp in broad daylight and said, as he went about, I am looking for a human. When Alexander the Great addressed him with greetings, and asked if he wanted anything, Diogenes replied, Yes, stand a little out of my sunshine. To one who asked what was the proper time for lunch, he said, If a rich man, when you will, if a poor man, when you can. When someone boasted that at the Pythian games he had vanquished men, Diogenes replied, Nay, I defeat men, you defeat slaves. Once he saw the officials of a temple leading away someone who had stolen a bull belonging to the treasurers, and said, The great thieves are leading away the little thief. Aristotle dines when it seems good to King Philip, but Diogenes when he himself pleases. Perdiccas threatened to put him to death unless he came to him, that's nothing wonderful, Diogenes said, for a beetle or a tarantula would do the same. He was breakfasting in the marketplace, and the bystanders gathered round him with cries of, Dog! It is you who are dogs, cried he, when you stand round and watch me at my breakfast. Virtue cannot dwell with wealth either in a city or in a house. When the slave auctioneer asked in what he was proficient, he replied, in ruling people. He was going into a theater, meeting face to face those who were coming out, and being asked why, this, he said, is what I practice doing all my life. He was seized and dragged off to King Philip, and being asked who he was, replied, A spy upon your insatiable greed. Self-taught poverty is a help toward philosophy, for the things which philosophy attempts to teach by reasoning, poverty forces us to practice. If you are to be kept right, you must possess either good friends or red-hot enemies. The one will warn you, the other will expose you. Thieves and fighters do not come from eaters of barley bread, but informers and tyrants come from meat eaters. To Xeniades, who had purchased Diogenes at the slave market, he said, Come, see that you obey orders. Boasting, like gilded armor, is very different inside from outside. Other dogs bite only their enemies, 
whereas I bite also my friends in order to save them. Asked where he came from, he said, I am a citizen of the world. When scolded for masturbating in public, he said, I wish it were as easy to banish hunger by rubbing my belly. <laughs>